So welcome to Raccoon Mountain Caverns. The caverns are over in here, underneath some very interesting rocks. We have a little Raccoon Mountain mining post. Here's the lower station. You can still see the anchor and stopping point. If you look, it goes up that way. Well, we're taking off here from the old spot and you can see that they've done a beautiful job restoring the old car now. Apologies for a little bit of the jerkiness. It was a little windy at altitude, so I actually had to fly a little bit higher than I would have liked to. I would have liked to have tried to have followed the cable, but it was just too close and the trees were grown up too much. But even being a little bit higher, you can still see that this was a heck of a way to get up the mountain. Now while we're flying up, they actually started the idea of this cableway, whoa, sorry. Uh, they actually started building this cableway in 1964 and they actually wanted to call it a tramway. And uh, the cave has been open since the 30s. Uh, some dates have it at 31 and some dates that have it in 1932. But uh, it would take you 2,800 feet up to the top. You can see that it would follow this. And I remember as a child seeing a little Indian village at the top, but it's also been a very long time since then. So my, my mind may be fooling me, but we'll get a... Uh, We'll get a closer look up at the top here in a minute. There is a trail that you can hike. I believe it goes up to the first or the second uh, tower. Uh, it's been a while since I've hiked that one, so I'm not 100% sure either. But you can see that um, this is a pretty, I, I love this place and I just wish that maybe the state could help give them a grant or something. It would be amazing to see this open again. Now it has had its tragedy, the original uh, building and the original uh, uh, visitor center uh, burned. And uh, I believe it was in 1966. And they had to rebuild it. Uh, there was a night watchman that unfortunately uh, was killed during that, but they were able to rebuild. And uh, the modern little A-frame building that I showed you earlier in the video is actually what is left. And incidentally enough, that's where they take people on the wild cave tours now. now um, all of the helmets and gear are stored in that room, but you can still see a lot of the old equipment in there. So it's, it's pretty cool to see. And here we are, we're getting towards the top. And uh, I wanna say that independently of the little Indian village, there was also a little gift store. Um, the owners actually allow uh, people to ride ATVs and whatnot up to the top of this mountain. Uh, I think it's called uh, Mount Edna Mountain Tours or something to that effect. You do have to be a member of that. And people remember that as you came up here, literally right beside the tower, you can see the footings of the old building and it ended right there and you really didn't get to wander around much if i remember correctly that little patch on the right is about the only place that still does it at one point they even talked about doing a a uh, swinging bridge probably to the right uh, although I, that never got built obviously they literally just focused on the on the little indian village and stuff up top and uh it's just, the memories are pretty cool of this place. Uh, like I said, I wish that they could still run the tram up and down the mountain. Uh, 
they did a brilliant job doing this. And as we turn around here, you're going to see what's left of that little, there was like a little platform where you could go out and look in a little, in, in the old days, there was a little piece of, uh, not a little piece of wood, but a, uh, a guide so that if the wind was blowing, the tram car could bump into it and be gently guided in. So anyway, here we are on our way back down. And I'm doing a little bit higher overall shot to show you that um, you can see the, the growth to the left of that while the right is trimmed because there's power lines going up there. The, uh, the left has grown up around all these towers and maybe one day I'll get back up to Raccoon Mountain campgrounds and we'll hike up to one of these uh, towers and take a closer look from the ground but uh, it is always a pretty impressive place. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed my video. I am off to go on some more journeys. So until then, why don't you go on a journey of your own? We will see you next time. Bye-bye.